Hey, it's Rob in the kitchen again today. Yeah, just like normal. Uh, trying something new, uh, new to me anyway. Uh, trying some crispy oven potatoes. I've got some potatoes on parboiling right now. They're parboiling in a mixture of salt water with uh, a teaspoon of baking soda added. Reason for the baking soda is it adds alkalinity to the water and it helps to break down some of the pectin in the in the potato and it loosens up the skin and it provides for a crispier crust. I'm doing this in a larger pan. Uh, you can use a normal saucepan for this, but what I'm doing is creating a, uh, an oil to infuse the potatoes with, or an infused oil to put on the potatoes while they're baking. Starting off with a stick of butter. I'm going to let that melt down a little bit. We add some extra virgin olive oil. This will actually go really well with the butter. Adding some dried rosemary. Uh, fresh would be preferred, but I don't have any fresh rosemary right now. So, using the dried. Minced garlic. You can use dried garlic for this if you like. What you want to do is to leave this cook for a while until the garlic starts to turn golden brown. I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. It doesn't need to be super hot. just want to get the oils to permeate through, or the, uh, the aromatics to permeate through. Add a little bit of some thyme. I'm uh, preheating the oven. I've got a convection oven. I'm going to set this for 350. Uh, that's about the equivalent of 375 with a regular oven. But in that 350 to 375 range, you want to get that nice Maillard reaction going on the potatoes to crisp them up. You want to be really careful when, uh, when you're cooking garlic like this. This is getting very close to the point where it's starting to turn. And once it reaches that point, it can turn really quick. So what I'm going to do... I have another pan. And it's sitting by the wayside. And when I feel like these are done, Pretty awesome smell. Uh, they are getting close. I'm starting to cook a little bit from the edges. That's why I'm trying to scrape down the edges here so that it stays consistent. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but you can, there's a color change. The uh, garlic is trying to hit a nice golden color all the way through. They're at that nice golden brown stage. So, let me turn that off.
and then strain this oil. Keeping all this. And you can see that nice golden brown color on the uh, on the garlic. And what I have is this nice uh, nice clear oil that's infused with all sorts of spices. What this will do is it will help keep this from burning as the potatoes are cooking. Okay, when the potatoes are done, <clears throat> drain them. Yow, yow, yow. Okay. Try not to burn yourself in the process. see the steam rising okay now one step that I like to do is roughen them up you can see how they're starting to crumble and fall apart a little bit that's a good thing you want that because what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you some sharper edges and a lot more surface area for crisping these potatoes up do this as long as you want, but there is kind of a point of diminishing returns, and it's about there. I happen to have a nice big bowl to do this in. Uh, yes, the, uh, you can see the uh, potato starch coming out the back. Uh, I want to save some of that in here. And remember this that we did previously. That goes into the potatoes. Ow, ow, ow. We have some smoked sea salt. And stir. Potato is coated as you can. And then separate them out on a rack. Ideally, you want to get separation in between the individual potatoes so that they have a lot more area to, uh, to breathe. In this case, have a lot of room here. And I'm cooking them on this grate because I want to get air circulation on the bottom and the top both. And we'll see how that works. You could do it on just the uh, just the parchment paper and then part way through come in and flip them over. But we're going to try it this way. Now I'm not putting any more seasoning on these. Uh, we're going to do that later at the end. Come on. Little booger. So 
So, uh, just to let you know, it's Easter Sunday today, and it's snowing. Alright, you can see they're starting to bubble up a little bit. You can see those little golden flecks around. Uh, now I'm going to take and do a little bit more seasoning. I'm going to flip some of these over a little bit just to uh, help increase the surface area that's exposed to the cooking. Alright, that's them. They are nice, fluffy. They didn't get as golden as they probably would have if I had peeled them. But I don't particularly care. I mean, come on, look at that. That, that'll do. Wow, crunchy. Okay, now that uh, we're all kind of unloaded from the big uh, cooking tray, I'm going to sprinkle back all that uh, garlic and rosemary that we had separated out earlier. Add that back in. And we've got some tangy, garlicky, rosemary oven-baked potatoes that are very crunchy and really quite good. I'm not going to eat all of these at one sitting. <laughs> as much as I want to. So there you go. Great recipe for uh, cooking on these days that we're stuck inside. <laughs>